sounds good. Hello, my name is Jimit. I am going to be the moderator for this session and Mana is going to be presenting, presenting Introduction to Project. We're both seniors uh, on the robotics team and we're very excited to have you here. I just want to say that if you have any questions during the meeting, just put in the chat or raise your hand and I will let Manav know and then we can go from there. Uh, you can also use the reactions as appropriate. So yeah, with that, Manav, you can go ahead and get started. All right. Hi, my name is Manav. I'm going to be presenting Introduction to Project. Uh, a little bit of background about me. I was, uh, I've was i been part of the, the I've been on a first team for the last seven years. For the first three years, I was on team 115 Tidux in FLL. And for the last four years, I've been a part of Hussey Robotics. So I will, uh, this is introduction to project. So what is the research project? Your team has five minutes to give a presentation talking about a solution to this year's given prompt, followed by a Q and A session, which answers any of the following questions, the, uh, any of the questions the judges may have. The team may create a presentation with as much creativity as they are comfortable giving. You have between the time and the information of, uh, on the year is released and competition to make, practice, perfect, and share your presentation. So how do you get started? So uh, what I would recommend uh, starting with is a preliminary brainstorm. So have all of you, the members of your team contribute ideas to a solution that they want to, to pr pursue the season with, and come up with as many viable solutions as possible. And then you compile them on a list on a whiteboard or on like a Google doc or something. So once you have a list of ideas, you, uh, you use a secondary brainstorm to flesh out those ideas and see which ideas you can put more information into it and then weed out the ideas that don't carry as much weight a merit. And then once you've uh, fleshed out a couple of ideas, you, you need to come to a consensus with your team, talking about uh, uh, each of the team, make sure that each of team member is included on the decision-making process and help pick a solution so that everyone feels included. So the writing phase. The writing phase, a lot of it is, is research. When researching, make sure uh, your team uses credible sources uh, sources like university studies, statements made by professionals that you can get either in person or otherwise. And news articles, news, ar news articles have a lot of good statistics in them because uh, journalists love using facts to back up their statements or anything that has, uh, or you can use anything that has scientific backing. So uh, the first thing you're, you want to, your team wants to do is find some research, some information about the problem itself. The problem itself can be anything that your team deems fit to be a problem that is within this year's theme. And then um, do more research to, to, on how to solve the problem. Judges love seeing uh, teams break down the problem and understand what they're fixing and why they need to fix it. So the writing phase from the coach's eyes. All of the process could, uh, so from the coach's perspective, um, the writing process is, should be as hands-off as possible. All the process should be done by the team and not the coaches. Coaches should be there to help the students get through the process and make any sort of constructive comments on the state of the presentation. So essentially what that means is letting the students take the lead and make, making sure that they're passionate about it and your passion does not necessarily have to be their passion, but they have to be the ones writing it in the first place because they're presenting it. So while the students are working on the presentation, you can be coming up with potential questions judges may ask and communicate them with the writers. And that's, uh, the coach's main job would be in this case, like giving constructive feedback and understanding what they wanna do and how they wanna convey it, yet still, not doing all the work for them. Creativity never hurt anybody. So you, creativity is one of the biggest things that need, needs to be in a presentation. So you need to make the project something the judges will remember. These judges are watching dozens of presentations on similar topics for an entire day. You want your teams to stand up and stand out as much as possible. Some ideas for presentation models would be a skit involving dialogue, which is people talking in a conversation, a skit with monologues, 
one person uh, talks at a time or a formal presentation where you, you've got like a slide deck up and like, yeah, a presentation. Like, so visual aids and costumes are truly your call because it depends on what you're presenting and how you want to present it. So for example, um, my first year in FLL, it was um, uh, FLL World Class, which was talking about education. So uh, what my team did is we talked about how we can improve the classroom environment. And we did this in a way of a skit in, in which we all of us played a different role in like using Wizard of Oz characters. So Dorothy was doing her own thing and then she, and she falls asleep and wakes up in the magical world of Oz where um, classrooms are completely different. So that's what our team did. And we didn't necessarily win, but we definitely got the judges' attention. So that year in our preliminary, uh, our pre prelim prelim sorry, preliminary competition, we uh, won the Champions Award. For, uh, be, not just because of the project, we also had a good robot, but that's besides the point. <laughs> so perfecting your presentation. So practice makes perfect. Once your project is completely written and edited by the students and okayed by the coaches, you should move on to the practice stage. I would suggest initially you devote a good chunk of each of meeting uh, going over the script and the pre uh, or the presentation at that point. Basically, what you want to do is make sure that everyone is on the same page and everyone is ready, rehearsed, and up until competition, they know what they're doing. As time goes on and the members, uh, members get more and more comfortable with the script, start running through some practice Q&A based on the presentation. Since you as a coach have a little bit of creative power over what's going on, you, you know what the, like you can tell what kind of questions the judges will be asking. And with those questions, you can, um, you can easily prepare the, uh, the students for what is to come. Uh, dealing with creative differences. So a lot of the times when writing presentations or writing things with multiple collaborators, uh, there is always a little bit some creative differences. So what? Uh, uh, so the way to fix this is addressing the problem in the first place. Excuse me. Um, if you know what the problem is, that's half the battle. So once you know what the problem is, you can figure out a way to fix it, whether that be um, talking it out, finding common ground, whether that be a compromise or something completely different that the opposing parties agree, agree the opposing parties agree on. So sharing the presentation out is something that is completely important and necessary in the research project. So one thing that the judges look for most in your team is if that you shared out the presentation with a person or a group or people that who feel would be the general demographic for your presentation. So for example, if you're talking uh, about some changes to a school environment, your team could set up a meeting and present your project in front of a teacher or a principal of one of the schools in your area. Like, uh, and another uh, example from my experience on FLL is, it was FLL Trash Trick, which was my second year. We uh, had a presentation talking about recycling. So we went to uh, a, uh, a recycling plant in our local area and we did our presentation there and they, they got some cool ideas out of it. Thank you so much for your time. That's all I have. And that's the introduction to project. Do you guys have any questions?